Welcome to Spotlight with Talk and Beyond. We are at the atrium. Uh, today we have a, a really interesting topic, re-monetization after the demonetization. And we have special guests to discuss the same. We have Madhavi, Hi. a senior a bank official. And we have Reema, a former journalist. Hi, yeah. And we have Mridula. Welcome. Yeah. So what does re-monetization really mean? It is restoring to the legal status. See, remonetization is followed by demonetization to replace the old discontinued currency to the with the new currency. So this is an uphill task and it is taking much longer than anticipated. So Reema, let me ask you what is your experience as an urban woman? Well, after the demonetization, I thought this remonetization will be easy. So yesterday I went to the ATM, I actually got 3000 rupees out. I got one 2000 rupee note and I got two 500 rupee notes. But I wanted change, so I did what I always do. I went to the bank and I said, ma'am, could you give me change for 500? And she said, no. And I was shocked. I said, are you saying you don't have change? And she said, no, we are not allowed to give you change. I said, what should I do to get change? She said, give us a check, withdraw the money and we will give you change. So I first took out money from the ATM. I deposited again into my account. I signed a check again to withdraw the money. And then I got 100 rupee notes. Why are bankers That's strange. ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. I mean, yeah. it shouldn't be that way, you know. I mean, how could we be without change? See, this has happened because it was a sudden move. And also, there is a restricted supply of cash. But this is not the case in every, everywhere. Like in our banks, all our customers get the whatever the required amount is. In change. Very, yeah, in change and whatever denomination they okay. want. See, the move totally, particularly in urban areas at least, to go to a cashless economy and to go to more and more digital. digital is from, plan. Yeah, digital, what you call Digital. Uh -huh. uh, digital uh, payment gateways and yeah. all. E-banking. So, yeah, it will be, it, it is it, I feel that it has taken a little longer time for replacement of the currency, but I think few days it should settle. I Frankly, think. I don't trust all these uh, trans uh, digital yeah. transactions. I think uh, change is inevitable mm -hmm. and it's uh, going to happen. Yeah. It will take time and it's frustrating. Mm -hmm. But nothing good comes out of just uh, complacent things. You know, we have to expect hardships and a little bit of... But I'm very concerned about the poor people in India. The rich, the upper middle class, the middle class can manage. They have ATM cards, credit cards, smartphones, they can do online banking. But what about the poor people? And the, uh, you know, the poor women are never given any uh, freedom to do any banking. So how can we empower them? How, what can the banks do to empower and teach them? Mm -hmm. And I think more of Indians are in that category yes. than the other. Yeah. So I think all the bankers should think of a way to help them. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What Sorry to put you on the spot, but mm -hmm. yes. I think it's overall. So this is all happened because India is not a highly literate country. Yes. And financial literacy is very, very low yes. as such. Yes. But I think this move at least should help our younger generation to come out and to be more and more literate mm -hmm. and uh, that will make them financially literate, this yeah. one literate and then you, you they can use all the alternate delivery channels which we do have like ATMs, mobile banking, Paytms and oh. all. See in this I have seen all the retail traders have turned to already Paytm. So most of the people in the cities particularly in Bangalore have not found it only in the that hardships mm -hmm compared to the rural areas. Yeah. Rural areas, slowly it is almost coming to the normalcy. I think this is a good chance for them to improve our rural economy also. Yeah. And rural financial stability for women also. Yeah, actually Reema and I were discussing mm -hmm. how it's very important to empower women and uh, doing something. What, what, what did you have in mind? We were talking about it. Reema, can yes, you take it can forward? Be. Yeah, you know, uh, women have always been known to save. They save so that 
the men don't take away their money. But women have to be taught how to hide their funds. I don't know how they can be taught to do that. Women all over have been hiding money from men so that they have a little bank account of their own. Madhavi, do you think it's possible to teach them how they can hide this in this digital transaction manner? Yeah, it is quite possible. See, we have to make the woman emp what like uh, Shakira asked. Women empowerment is the key to success for a country like India. Yes. We contribute a lot to the economy, yes. major force. So all like the era is now of startups and all. So what we really need to do is give them more credit accessibility and give them more and more technical technology supports and more and more infrastructure support so then market their all their industries is for net out. Then this hiding and stashing away this cash, those things won't come into picture. Exactly. Once they come into the market, they will start learning everything, digital ways, yeah. they can pay everything. Even a illiterate person will know how to operate a mobile and do the payment. Yeah. So it yeah. will completely lead to a success economy. Yeah. And we know that uh, no self-help groups are by women. Well, yeah. right. Thinking about women's contribution, uh, they form the backbone of society because most of the self-help groups are women-oriented groups uh, operated by women too. So is uh, bank taking any initiative in training uh, on financial literacy? So Mrudul, I will add one more thing here. So with more and more legislated, supported schemes for the women, we can yes. make them more implement more and more and involve more and more women in all these things and this can be done through there are already so many women mahila banks and all so many but what do you banks. think of the budget now the yeah. new budget, budget is see, it going to empower women yeah yeah empowering women it is the main uh, focus is on them and main focus is on the startups and the small scale industries which is already was going on with the chandan schemes and what about, Aadhaar schemes yeah. and mudra loans the agriculturalists and all. yeah so all this comes put into hand with more aggravated effort from both from the bureaucracy and the banks and the support of the people and more and more startups coming into the picture and more and more startups which are failing they should be done hand holding and yes. they should be carried forward right. with all this I think we can do a better job. I, yeah. I think we women yes. would be amazing. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's very interesting and informative. Yeah. Thank you Madhavi and Reema for coming on Spotlight talk and beyond. You are welcome to the lab. Cheers to Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. We are on Spotlight with Talk and Beyond. We are talking about safety for women and uh, safety for women is a huge issue all over the country for the professional young women going out, the older women who are at home, everybody. So we have set up a small session for you to uh, get some information. We had a martial arts expert, Shoria, come and give us a demo on how you can protect yourself with small tips, easy tips, which you can um, inculcate in your daily uh, walks, in your travel, in anything you do. Hi, uh, this is my friend Abha. Uh, we'll teach uh, self-defense, so please pay attention one by one, I'll show you. So let's go for the first step. So here, just assume ki I am a girl and she's a guy. Okay, so I'll be here. This is a bad guy. Okay, I'll be walking normally. She'll come, she'll hold my wrist. Abba, please. Once the person will hold the wrist, I'll twist my hand, pay attention, please. And I'll bank, I'll strike on that specific area which is more sensitive. For example, abdomen or downside. That's what you have to do. So let's repeat the same thing where Abba will be the girl. Well, I'll be the bad guy. Okay. So let's let's do. Should be walking. Once I'll hold the wrist, you have to make your core stronger. Twist, chill. As hard as you can. Remember, you have to keep your core stronger while striking. For the second technique now, and definitely as the last time, Abba will help me in this uh, uh, technique as well. So just assume again, Abba is a bad guy and I am a girl, innocent girl. So let's 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 do one thing. I'll be walking. I'll be walking and suddenly I'll be walking here. That's a bad guy. I'll be walking. He's coming. He's keeping his hand on my shoulder. What I have to do? The 
First step, as I said, remember, I have to react immediately. I'll hold her wrist, I'll twist that bad person, immediately I'll hit on the sensitive part, which is that bad person's knee. As simple as that. So let, let Ava do the same thing. Ava will do now and uh, definitely she'll demonstrate. So Ava is walking normally. I'll be coming, I'm the bad person out here. I'll keep my hand. What she'll do, please be careful. She'll twist my hand. She'll hit on my sensitive part. She'll strike them. You have to hit striker uh, harder. Perfect. So we went for the second one and she did an amazing job. Uh, let's go for the third one. In this, this is a little aggressive one. And it should be aggressive one, I feel so, because the person... Okay, it should be the aggressive one, that's all. Okay, it should be the aggressive one. So, assume again, he is a bad guy, I am the girl. Okay, please, Ava, come here. I'll be walking, and this person is aggressive because of some reasons, so because of some bad reasons. Okay, that person is holding my neck, Ava, hold my neck. What I should do immediately? Keep my hand inside, back, strike on the ears, and put thumbs inside the eyes. Sounds really bad, but it should be done. Okay, again, one, one more time I'll show. Ava, hold my neck. Bang, eyes. Thumbs inside, eyes. That's all. Now, Ava will do. As always, I'm the bad guy here. I'll be holding her neck. So it's like banging the ears. And then the person will definitely start feeling dizzy and then you can run or else you can uh, strike on the sensitive part of the body. That's all. Finish. The safety tips demo was presented by Shorya Singh, director of Shorya Yoga Ayu. And now we'd like to thank all our uh, sponsors and partners. So I'd like to take the time to say cheers to um, Grover Sampa Vineyards, our partner so for the champagne, tasty very champagne. tasty champagne and wine. And uh, we would like to thank uh, C. Krishnas Chetty who have given us all this gorgeous uh, uh, jewelry to use yeah. for our shoot. And uh, they've given us wonderful coupons to give everybody. So if you want a coupon, just write to us and we'll send you one. And they have wonderful products. So you should t take the time to stop by and take a look. And we'd like to thank Joshita Timaya for doing the decor for us. She has been very good and uh, we are grateful for her time. And we thank Pollyanna's Kitchen for providing all the wonderful strawberry dipped in chocolate, the chocolate balls, the cakes. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, and we would also like to thank Neo Foods for providing us the wonderful pickles. Uh, the jalapenos and the olives. We would also like to thank our wardrobe partner and they, they really provided us with good beautiful gowns uh, for the shoot and uh, it was from Sochika and uh, we would... Yeah, that's about it and we thank all our spouses for being supportive for doing the show and our cinematographer, our directors, um, our crew, our helpers, Prem, Yash and Seema for being there for us, uh, helping us in everything we do. Thank you and so much. I would also like to thank you for giving us this beautiful house. Oh, you're very for, welcome. For all, our, so all our families have been very supportive. So happy Valentine's to all. Thank you once again. Cheers.